Leaders here at SeaTac Airport say passengers will soon have more options on where they go through security. They just received a $16 million grant that will help move Checkpoint 1 from the upper level to the lower level and will also add two new lanes to help speed up the security process. Passenger numbers are expected to hit pre-pandemic levels at SeaTac Airport by next year. We'd like to continue with the boarding process and welcome first class. First class this is one of the airport. fastest growing regions in the country, so the airport traffic reflects that. Perry Cooper with SeaTac Airport says they are trying to make changes to accommodate the number of current travelers and prepare for future travelers. We just don't have enough space on the ticketing level, the way we're shaped and the way the main terminal is built to add any more space up there. That's why they are moving checkpoint one from the upstairs level to the downstairs level to have more space and two more security lanes to move more people through faster. It will also include automated screening lanes, which the current checkpoint does not have. So that allows a bit faster throughput for those checkpoint lanes. Scott Proud from Sammamish says he's never had any problems with lines at the airport. During COVID, there was some lines, but nothing, nothing I haven't experienced compared to like Frankfurt or Amsterdam or anything like that. But he does have a problem with the traffic on the roads outside the terminal. That, that's one of the most inefficient or frustrating experiences I think at this airport is the, just the picking up and the dropping off of personnel. But with the new checkpoint being relocated to the lower level, Cooper says this should alleviate traffic on the upper level. If we can bring more people down to the lower level and they see there's a checkpoint down here on this lower level, that's going to make the drives that much more efficient. The airport has long term plans for a new north terminal, but for now they're making the changes they can in their five year upgrade SEA plan. Our focus is to be able to handle what comes in that we're going to see in the next multiple years. So already we realize that we're going to get to a point where this, this airport can't handle enough. Construction on the relocated checkpoint will start this year and should be completed by the end of 2024. At SeaTac Airport, Connor Board, King 5 News.